Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at patterns in Adobe Photoshop CC and really across the Adobe suite. Um, specifically, um, Adobe uses this um, capture app to create patterns. So let's take a look at it. Um, here's an image that we can create a pattern from, but you can create a pattern from any image that you want. Let's go here to window and go to library. So this is where we are going to find our patterns, our shapes, our color, themes um, and other assets. Um, you can create a new library if this is the first time that you're doing this. Um, there's a couple things. One is you need to make sure that you're logged into your Adobe account. Um, it's going to give you an opportunity to save your work across devices and into the cloud um, using your library, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, creating a new library might be a good idea. Your library is the default and if you click in there you'll see that um, you know, I've got colors and patterns and uh, ungrouped. One of the advantages of sort of creating a library that's specific to patterns and only creating patterns in your patterns library, only creating color themes in your color library and so on is, you know, running into this not grouped issue. Um, you can group these, right? We could organize these if we wanted to in our library, but in this case, if we go to pattern and we create the new pattern in this particular patterns library, it could give us an advantage in kind of staying organized, but really whatever works best for you. Um, it's important to be signed into your Adobe account because in just a moment, I'm gonna show you how to create a pattern on a mobile app, the Adobe Capture app. And if you use the Adobe Capture app and you're logged in with your Adobe account that you're using for Adobe CC or on the computer, it'll actually sync up and create the pattern um, you'll see the patterns that you create on the computer on the mobile app. You can create a pattern on the mobile app and you'll see it show up here in your libraries on the computer. So let's talk about how to create a pattern in, first and foremost. So you've got an image here and you want to extract or, or create a pattern from this image. If you go down here to, in your libraries palette and go to the little plus sign, you can see add elements. And then one of the options is extract from image. You'll also see this CA and that is the capture app. Um, and so make a note of that. That's the, the, the app logo that we're going to be looking for when we download from the App Store. In this case, what's happening here, I'm going to make this a little bigger. Um, you have the image here and you've got a scale, rotation, and pattern shape that you can play around with. The default is pattern, but up here you could go to shapes or color themes and you can create, say, a raster shape from, you know, from this uh, particular image, so, um, or vector shape rather. Um, but for now, let's look at patterns. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. And here we go. A nice sort of, you know, pink and green floral pattern that's happening. There are five shapes up here. Watch what happens when we click on each shape. The pattern changes pretty dramatically. Look at the triangle here. This is the part of the image that the pattern is sourcing from. And in this case, it's repeating that one, two, three, four, five, eight times. It's taking that triangle and rotating it eight times and flipping it into sort of kaleidoscope effect to create this pattern. You could rotate the canvas and that's going to change the way that the pattern looks. Um, in this case, what I am going to do is actually really like the way that this particular pattern looks at zero or one. There we go. And it's got almost a circular kind of shape happening there. Maybe if I move this around a little bit, that'll kind of work a little bit more to our advantage. I think some of the pink is good. So actually right where we were, something like this looks good. You can fine tune this and create as many patterns as you want. You can change the shape and you click save to CC libraries to save that pattern. You'll see it show up over here now in our libraries. And if I was like, well, I like that, but I just want to shift it slightly and then make a new pattern, save to CC libraries. We can do that infinite amount of times. Um, so there's slightly different patterns that we just created there. When you're done, you can click close. Here's the pattern, capture patterns 13 and then capture patterns 12. If you click on that pattern, it will load the pattern into a new layer. Now implementing and using the patterns, that's kind of a separate issue. Today we're just looking at how to create the patterns, but I did want to show you really quickly. You can rotate and then scale your pattern if you wanted to as you're sort of implementing it or using it in design. I'm gonna hit cancel here. The next thing I wanted to do is get the Capture app on our phone and go ahead and download the Adobe Capture app. I'm going to record um, 
a screen here on my phone and then you'll see it here pop up in just a moment in the video. Um, so let's go ahead and start that. Go ahead and start that. Okay, download the Adobe Capture app and then launch it. Again, making sure that you're logged into your Adobe account. And you can see here on this screen, the capture patterns 12 and 13 that we just created. Here they are, um, pretty neat. What I wanted to show you though is capturing and creating a pattern on the Capture app. So let's go ahead and launch the um, camera. And you can see here, I'm just pointing at uh, myself as I'm recording. And as I move around, right, in that triangle, the pattern changes, which is pretty neat. Um, you can change the shape up here, okay? Just like we were able to, it's pretty much identical to what we see on the um, computer. Let's go ahead and capture that. I'm gonna click the um, capture button. And then after you capture, you can see here that you can rotate if you wanted to. So you can actually change the pattern after. And then you can also zoom in and zoom out. So you can get a little tighter and also get a little bit wider. When you're done, you can click the little arrow right there. And then it's gonna give us some recommendations, which is pretty neat. I really like this because you can capture a gradient, you can add a color theme, you can add a graphic or a shape, depending on what the AI sees here um, after you capture your pattern. Um, it might make suggestions for additional patterns or different kinds of things. I'm gonna go ahead and click gradient three and color theme five, just in case I wanna use those color themes or gradients later in a, in a design, and then I'm gonna click save. That's now done. You'll see pattern 18 pops up here, color theme five, gradient three, all pop up in my all assets. Um, in this case, um, it should pop up here in the um, libraries. Um, if you don't see it right away, you may just need to, I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. You may just need to um, reload, refresh um, your libraries and your Adobe, you know, maybe um, restart Photoshop to get those to load in. It should pop up, you know, give it, you know, give it a couple minutes, it should pop up here. We should see the patterns that we created on the mobile app here in our libraries. Um, on our computer. So that's a little introduction to creating patterns. Implementing patterns is gonna be something separate. Um, if you look at the egg cup project or egg cup demo, that's gonna be something that uses patterns pretty extensively and, and um, bring those patterns together into a cohesive design. So take a look at that if you wanna learn how to implement the patterns into your design. There you go, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something.